Writing a book is hard work. And once you have finished the draft, what happens next may determine whether your book gets published or becomes just another dusty manuscript. Well, I bet you want to know what is so important that you do next after finishing your draft. And I'm about to tell you. The draft is done, but if you rush straight into editing, you're not going to do a very good job. Probably at this point, you're a little sick of the project. Ugh. You're ready for something new. You're just ready to be done with it for a while. And so if you go into editing, you're going to fail to fact check. You're going to miss things that need correcting, or you're going to let things slide that really should be addressed. So, the most important thing you can do after finishing your draft is rest from the project. Yeah, quit working on it for a little while. Take a break from the draft to let yourself get excited about the project again, to give you some time and distance so that when you come back to editing, you're gonna have fresh eyes, you're going to be more objective, and you're gonna catch a lot more errors. So now's the time to set the draft aside and wait until you're ready to come back and edit it. But during that time, don't stop writing. You've watched these videos enough to know in every single intro, you will see the number 500. Well, that's intentional, of course, because our mantra here is 500 words a day, 500 words a day. That's how you maintain the writing habit, how you keep writing, and how you become a prolific writer. So even though you're done with the draft, keep writing 500 words a day. Well, what do you write? Well, the thing you don't write is the next manuscript. You need a break. You need a breather. You need a shift, something to be a little different. And so here's what I suggest. I suggest you take a little while and you work on short form content instead. So maybe on your break between finishing the draft and editing the manuscript, which is what it has now become, you work on something that you can easily get done in about 500 words, or maybe in say 2,500 words and you work on it for a week. You could do something even a little bit longer if you wanted, that's fine, but think short form content. So one thing you might wanna work on is a short story. That would be short form content. Maybe you wanna work on a children's book. Every word has to be crafted precisely, but it is short form content. Maybe this is a time to work on your blog and maybe get a bunch of blog posts ready so that you're ready to post those pretty consistently. Maybe you wanna work on some poetry. If your manuscript was nonfiction, it might be a good idea to work on something that's fiction and short form and vice versa. If you were working on fiction, maybe you can work on a nonfiction piece. The point is you want to do something really different that uses different skills. My favorite thing to do when I am taking a break from a draft is to spend a lot of time in my journal. So you can process what it's like to be at the end of your draft. There's often a bundle of emotions that are happening. That pride, that sense of accomplishment, that fear of what might come next, the doubt about all the work that you think you still need to do on it, maybe your question marks around what the editing process would be like, any of those kind of jumbled things that are happening right now, dump those into your journal and kind of cleanse them out of your system. Right, Just process what it's like to be at the end of the draft and then shift and go into something different. The journal is also a fun place to maybe work on your next writing goals, to think about what you wanna do in the future with your writing. Maybe to brainstorm some projects, 
maybe to outline a next book. And goal setting isn't just about writing. You could also do goal setting in other areas of your life because you're taking a break now from anything that you're intending to be published and you're writing in your journal. And so whatever you wanna put there is fine. The goal is just 500 words a day. We're creating a placeholder for that daily writing habit. And so even though you may spend a month or two writing things that aren't intended to be published, you are also keeping yourself in the habit of writing. This might be a good time to just dream about possibilities. I think that's a lot of fun. So the what ifs, maybe not committing to any actions, no goal setting here, but just kind of thinking about what you might hope would happen, uh, both in writing and in other areas of your life. Good place to do that. Another thing that I like to do in the journal is to work on writing skills. Right now, I'm wanting to work on my use of metaphors. And so that's something I'm doing in my journal right now. I've generated a list of uh, two things that don't go together, and I'm using one as a metaphor to describe the other. And I'm spending time in my journal doing that 500 words at a time, just working on that craft. I know in my own writing, I tend to rely on cliches a little too much, and I'd like to expand that. I would like to bump my writing up to the next level, make it a little bit more poetic, a little more well-crafted. So that is one exercise that I am doing to better my writing. And when I'm in between projects, it's a really good time to work on that skill. 500 words a day. Whatever you choose to write, don't immediately start on your next manuscript. You really need this rest time. You need this break from the old manuscript and a break before you start your next manuscript. So use this time for whatever you like. Make it fun and lively and joyful. This is part of the fun of writing. It may be a few weeks. It may take a few months until you're feeling that energy and enthusiasm to get back and edit that manuscript. And that is perfectly fine. Savor this downtime in your writing. So now it's time to celebrate. The draft is done. We're gonna talk about some practical ways to do that in the next video. So as you're feeling all those warm fuzzies and feeling that sense of accomplishment and proud of yourself for the work that you've done, would you take three seconds, not a hundred days, to click up here and subscribe to the channel. That'll help other writers find me and this encouragement that may be helpful to you. And if you wanna watch the entire 100 day playlist, you can find that right here.